Hello, this is Julian with Copper Reviews, and today we will be reviewing Day 20 of Cafe Box's Advent Calendar, featuring the Don Eli Washed Costa Rica from Love Coffee. And there's the container right there. All right, let's talk a little bit about Love Coffee. So they are based out of Lund in Sweden. This is my first time ever hearing of them, so I did a quick Google search and looked at their website to kind of get a little bit more information on them. There isn't as much information with this coffee roaster as there is many of the other ones I've reviewed on this advent calendar. So what I was able to find was they've been around since 2009 and a lot of the Google search I found was people giving so much praise to this coffee as being the best in the area. So it definitely sounds like they've kind of established themselves as one of the best, if not the best in Lund and have kind of earned themselves a little bit more prominence within Swedish coffee as a whole. Let me go ahead and talk briefly about the details on this coffee. So what I did on this one was a 16.67 to 1 water to coffee ratio. And that had been because these Swedish coffees, that's what a lot of the recipes showed. They didn't list a specific recipe on the Instagram page or on their website for their coffee. So just went with this uh, standard Nordic light roast and I did 201 degrees Fahrenheit, kind of keeping true with everything I've been doing up to this point. And of course, brewed through the Chemex. So let's go ahead and start talking about the coffee itself. And this was very much a more delicate cup of coffee. And the only first impression I got when I was drinking it was probably drinking a washed coffee. Didn't know much more than that. Very tea-like. I was getting some very nice lemon, what I perceived as maybe some orange zest and some chocolate as well. Pretty mild, but well-rounded and balanced cup of coffee overall as a whole with a, definitely that lighter body experience. As it's cooled down to room temperature, I'm not sure I'm getting anything more. Definitely still, I mean, it, it is, sometimes coffee can be a little bit more reminiscent of drinking tea than coffee. This is another one of those cases. It's not one of those over the top, super lights and, you know, floral geishas, but it's still pretty tea-like and definitely has some nice florals in it as well. His profile they have listed on here, delicate with notes of black tea and lemon peel, so pretty close in line to what I was tasting as well. Let me go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can see what I was getting. And the highest things were some florals, some citrus fruit, of course for the lemon, and then a pretty clean cup of coffee. Probably could have put the cleanliness even higher as well as I probably could have even put the chocolate a little higher. But I decided to stick with those. I feel like nothing in this coffee was you know, standing out too dramatically one way or another. Pretty even, clean, and I don't want to say clean, but pretty even, mostly balanced cup of coffee. And it's always been a nice change of pace in this advent calendar given how wild, funky, and extreme a lot of these coffees can be. So this makes it a pretty easy recommendation recommendation suggestion on who I would suggest this cup of coffee to. People that do enjoy the lighter roasted coffees that are a little bit more tea-like and floral, lemon forward of course. Again, a little bit more like drinking tea than uh, drinking coffee, but very enjoyable. I enjoyed this coffee, but I think I'm definitely looking forward to their second coffee, kind of getting a better impression and overall opinion of them as a whole. Now, given that I didn't have too much special insight into this coffee or the coffee roaster, uh, this is a perfect opportunity since this is Christmas to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, anybody that celebrates Christmas or any of these holidays. I really appreciate all the support I've been given over the past year. This is probably the best part and most enjoyable part of my day is making these videos, talking about these coffees, discussing them with you. So I really appreciate everybody that does tune in, watches my reviews and does enjoy the content because it does mean a lot. And I just, it, it just genuinely is so nice to have this. So I'll leave it at that. But if you have tried Love Coffee, I would love to know your opinion of them, especially this coffee. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But this right here has been a review of the Don Eli Washed Costa Rica from Love Coffee. Thank you for watching.